scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Matthew chapter 4, please. 23 down to 25. And Jesus went about Galilee. We're reading three scriptures teaching in their synagogues pay attention and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people and his fame went throughout syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments and those which were possessed with devils and those which were lunatic and those that had the palsy and he healed them next verse and there followed him great multitudes of people from galilee and from decapolis and from jerusalem and from judea and beyond jordan mark chapter 1 mark chapter 1 we begin to read from verse 32 mark chapter 1 god is still in the business of miracles of signs of wonders of transformation turning lives around and causing people to experience the reality of the kingdom and at even that's evening now when the sun did set they brought unto him all that were diseased and them that were possessed noticed that they always seem to be in the same group possessed lunatics diseased and those with all kinds of infirmity and the bible says and all the city was gathered together at the door 34 and he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him one last scripture and then i'll teach a little and we begin to pray matthew chapter 10 this is jesus commissioning the 12 test running the things that he had taught them we're reading from verse 7 and 8 as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand and then heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead cast out devils freely ye have received freely give so there is a way you can give the the manifestation of the power and the glory of god is also a kind of giving that you can step into people's situations and turn everything around by the power of the holy spirit look how authoritative jesus was when he sent them it was not a suggestion it didn't seem like something they were to try and bring back a result he said as you go go and do this 
go and do that but for us largely in the church today these realities are just bible stories are we together now and we just hope that they work when we gather like this we can only hope the sick are healed we can only hope the oppressed are delivered but there seems to be a level of certainty certainty we need a restoration of genuine and notable miracle signs and wonders in the church they have to be genuine they have to be notable and consistent if we want to see dimensions of God's glory made manifest and if we want to see our communities and our territories call upon the name of the Lord again then please listen to me much more than oratory much more than good English much more than good speaking we need a restoration of the power of God provable the ability of the spirit that can cause men to return back with testimonies testimonies in scripture have always encouraged the faith of people listen let me tell you this miracles in themselves listen please miracles in themselves are not enough to convert a man it is the Holy Spirit. Let, let me balance it right now. Because there were people who attended the crusades of Jesus, yet they ran away from him until the Holy Ghost came upon the church. So that an individual, in fact, there were scribes and Pharisees who were in almost every meeting, yet they never believed Jesus. So miracles in themselves are not the true basis for conviction and conversion that is the ministry of the holy spirit everybody say the holy spirit the bible says that when he the spirit of truth is come listen it says he will guide you into all truth he will convict reproof now the world of sin of righteousness and of judgment however miracles were designed by god to be a support structure that consolidates on what the holy spirit is doing to aid conviction that will ultimately lead to conversion i believe in miracles i truly do now i've had a lot of thoughts i'm trying to break some of the things that stop us from receiving and um one of it is the fact that christians were not designed to be the ones chasing miracles i agree i agree that there is a more superior way of living where we live by the principles of the kingdom but let me admit to you that the need for the miraculous will remain in the church and even in the midst of believers for two reasons number one the reality of our humanity the fact that the human nature is still in us there will always be a need for the power of god to intervene once and again please listen to what i'm saying it's very very important psalm 27 verse 13 and 14 whilst it is true that the most excellent way is to live by the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom that immunes you from the need to have god crash land certain things in your life and produce certain results the principles of the kingdom were designed to bring predictability to our lives a miracle is needed because a law had been violated and God's love and mercy needs to come in to bridge that default. Are we together now? However, because of the reality of our human nature, even though we are still stepping experientially into the image and the character of the Christ, here and there we will find ourselves missing out on the full standard of God's expectation as required to walk in total victory hence the need for the miraculous where is a doctor here these guys are not here okay let's uh, okay please stand up dave watch this dave is a doctor and i want you to reason with me for a moment did you know that the best way to enjoy your life is not to go to the hospital every day are we together now you should get to a point where you eat healthy you are healthy and then you live right but there are many factors here and there 
although you are aware of the fact that eating healthy and living right is the more excellent way every once and again you will catch yourself needing this man now if the doctors decide to close the hospital just because there is a more excellent way it means that on your journey to becoming that more excellent way you will not even live to re to, to, to lift um, to reach that level you will die and just finish up so doctor is a sign and a symbol of God's mercy that while there is a higher standard for you his mercy is still trailing you so that if and when you need the doctor he can still come are we together please sit down the miraculous is still important even for believers there are times while you are learning the principle for instance of wealth and abundance because it takes a while to be established to understand that principle what happens to your rent today tomorrow you will have enough to feed nations but today there is a concern so he said give us this day lord you can give us while we learn to access that supply we can cry that you give us today very important the human nature of men believers and unbelievers matured believers and those who are just starting alike will at one point or the other because of the reality of their humanity need the intervention of god's power the psalmist said i had fainted unless i had believed to see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living i had fainted that means that i would have been a forgotten story save for this intervention i had fainted unless i had believed to see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living the second reason why all including believers will need the miraculous hand of god at one point or the other is because of the presence of wicked spirits first john chapter 5 and verse 19 the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that there is a contention that consistently plagues the believer paul writing and teaching the church in ephesus he taught them how to as we call it to sit in their position that that understanding that they have been seated with christ then he taught them how to walk worthy of their calling but then he also taught them how to stand against the wiles of the enemy the bible says and we know that we are of god and in spite of the fact that we are of god the whole world how many of the world it didn't say africa so whether you go to europe or whether you go to america the caribbeans wherever you are provided you are in this world the bible says it lies in wickedness There are two ways to have your car jammed. You hit somebody or somebody hits you. In any way, the car will pay for it. So we need the miraculous hand of God. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, a number of us are too young to understand the reality of wickedness in this life because we have been shielded by the sacrifices of others. Whether you sow or not, there is a harvest. But as, as you begin to transit through life, you will understand that there is a real warfare that happens in this life. Warfare for your soul. Warfare for your children. Warfare for your finances. Warfare for your relevance. And it takes an understanding that if God be for us, hallelujah, he says, who can be against us? Reverse the statement. If God is not for us, who will not be against us? That means my security is having the hand of God with me. As a man of God, the devil will not sit down and allow you to keep winning souls every time you are converting people from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son. Then he will cross his leg and laugh. No. Every arsenal that can be launched against your church, your ministry will come. And if you do not understand when to call for help and say, Lord, I invoke it. Ah, look, the Bible says the body of Moses michael was carrying the dead body of moses 
to heaven and suddenly Satan traps him in the heavenlies and was fighting for the body and he said the Lord rebuke you the Lord I use a power that is greater than you rebuke you even a dead man's body was still useful for Satan not to talk about you who is alive a dead man who does not have a will who does not have emotions but Satan said the body can still be relevant a spirit is searching for that body and that spirit will resurrect as Moses and deceive people so there was potentials even in a dead body the same way the devil used the face of your mother to press you and now you think it's your mother that is a witch demons are crying and wanting bodies are you learning something tonight let me tell you my brothers and my sisters I really hate to be the bearer of bad news but I will be lying to you if I tell you that all you see is all there is there is real warfare in this life there is victory assured there can be victory established but it does not negate the fact that there is warfare when your children leave your house and go to school for that five six hours there is more warfare than you know are we together you release them from your house they come back asking you questions you are even afraid to answer there's warfare you think the devil will sit down and allow you to be the first person in your family to build a house who do you think you are your father tried to rise and that altar crushed him to pieces and here you come boasting that I am in Christ if you don't understand how to tap into the help of God that same hand will crush you to pieces this is where many believers continue to deceive themselves and mock themselves Jesus himself needed the father he said father don't forsake me this is not the right time to forsake me Eloi Eloi Lamak Sabachthani the world needed help from heaven the world was unfruitful until he was assisted by the Holy Spirit apostle my church is not growing I'm a faithful man of God I love the Lord I see visions I can pray for the sick members are not coming because growth is warfare people are not stupid to just leave their homes and come and stand to hear you do you know the amount of devils and demons that stop you from coming here today do you know the amount of excuses the devil orchestrated Satan is desperate for your downfall if you ever found yourself here it's a sign that your miracle has started i'm telling you this we are not alone in this world get used to it there are real spirits not only angels not only the holy spirit there is an old story here there are spirits older than everyone and they have not been prohibited from moving to and fro they can still move and let me tell you sooner or later they will land around the vicinity of your family and the, the bible says the whole world lies in not badness wickedness many of us today are seated here right now in the next few minutes when we begin to pray that is when you will wonder so this thing in my life I thought was a coincidence is a pre-programming of wickedness let me tell you this I have seen the wickedness of men and spirits too many times in my little life I have looked at destinies that I know this person should not be here But tonight in the name of Jesus the hand of God will come upon us and that everything that does not name the name of Christ must give way what about your finances you thought it's just about business it is warfare I've taught you this the devil when you have vowed before God 
that lord if you bless me your kingdom will be advanced and the devil had that prayer i hope you know when you praise not only god that hears when you pray the realm of the spirit hears your prayer that's why he says this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare as i was prophesying to you the devil had it he will not keep quiet get up and wore a good warfare i thought the prophecy should work itself he said wore a good warfare otherwise you will see it in the realm of the spirit but it will never manifest many believers are ignorant of this one thing there are many families sitting down right now looking at me and you do not know that if you do not rise i got several text messages from people apostle this is wrong with me i, I just replied them and said come for miracle service i i don't know how i'm going to start giving you this explanation you will learn after you are touched if i allow you to learn you may die and never have the opportunity to hear the message it is something that needs the power of god first you will grow spiritually but in the interim let's deal with the devil for you so that by the time he's dealt with you can have the time to grow i was ministering yesterday and a precious lady that god touched i mean lumps all over her can you imagine that kind of wickedness I think one of them said also that she was operated and then it returned again that means it's a living thing it's only living things that can move they can go and come dead things lie down there they removed it and it left where they threw it and came back is that a dead thing now I hear the chains falling. listen when God gives you ten naira and it runs away from you don't you think something is driving it away please listen to what i'm telling you when somebody promises that sam i will bless you and all of a sudden because he promised to bless you he starts going down he intended to bless you have you seen people like that they say i'm waiting for salary to bless you the moment they say i want to bless you that money will never come there's something wrong god gave us intelligence we are not stupid people but let me tell you my brothers and sisters for as long as you justify darkness you are not ready for victory you must get angry and say no way lord i have come like jacob i will not let you go some of you travel from far some of you are connecting from different parts of the world please refuse don't come and play games lord there must be an evidence there must be an evidence you get pregnant as a christian as a tongue-talking christian you go to bed and here are these wicked spirits they come to molest you and in two three months you've lost the child the doctors will do their best to support you but doctors cannot treat spirits it takes the power of god it says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves there are cases that can never be diagnosed medically machines don't diagnose spirits i heard the testimony of a woman genuine testimony her husband had died died and gone to be with the lord and a spirit came to her in the dream and tried to molest her and within two three months she, she was pregnant she noticed she was pregnant from the realm of the spirit with a physical child I don't know who made us so carnal that we think we will casually please be careful you watch TV and people trivialize the reality of the realm of the spirit if you are a pastor here listen to me end time ministry is real warfare you are not going to stand and cross your leg and my church should keep growing just because you are reading a novel about church growth no it takes you subduing the powers that be is God speaking to someone tonight fathers here you need to stand up and take charge every father is a priest you are already ordained as a father as a priest over your home and you're not going to watch darkness come and sit down and say it does not matter that's why men who are not born again and serious with God is a serious problem
you open your shop to sell and there is a pungency there is a sense of repulsion you have everything that should be bought and people leave your shop and go somewhere to queue no we wrestle not against flesh and blood please listen to me but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and the spiritual wickedness they don't reside in hell they are in the heavenlies I counseled a man of God I think it was two three years ago the devil I don't know the devil uses his face to oppress his members like you have a church now and then you will see my face I will come with an axe in a dream or something and oppress you will you attend that church and everybody started saying the man is a fake man truly I don't know anything about him but when I got to meet him, he said, Apostle, what is this? He said, I got born again in the present. I have a history. What is this thing? Everybody is saying I'm a fake man of God. I went to collect power that they see me in dreams. I said, that's it. The enemy has done this. The devil would divide best friends by using the face of a best friend to oppress someone. Then lead that best friend to a, a prophet who may not be fake, but is not spiritually accurate. And he will say, your friend is jealous and wants to kill you. Nonsense! Listen to me. These spirits are actors. They can join you together. They look for where trouble is and guide you. Like the Holy Spirit guides you in all truth. The devil can guide you in all trouble police is about to arrest a thief you, you find out that you are you are passionate about leaving home to go there you were minding your business but now you just get somewhere and they arrest all of you it's not normal it's not normal it's not normal we need miracles so we need real divine interventions we need the hand of God to come upon our lives we need the grace of God you are in your office with all kinds of people listen one of the things we have to learn is that not everybody is born again I think we're used to the fact that we are all born again around a circle so because of that you believe that the same way in your office everyone is born again let me tell you there are people who are fraternized with darkness to a realm and a level that except you are powerful indeed they will not only destroy you they will destroy you slowly hallelujah I think it was here I don't know which month I hope maybe the family may even be here they brought for me a medical student the final year last session the lady just became mad I is it because of reading is she the first to go to school it's a spirit a woman labors on her daughter my brothers and my sisters and just when this woman is about to reap the reward of her labor have you not heard of people who graduated on their way going back home to celebrate a bike comes out from nowhere there is no bike that comes out from nowhere thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day not the noisome pestilence well you can choose to believe what i'm telling you or you can choose to allow time proof to you that this life does not joke if Jesus himself got up early in the morning to pray and put everything in order he says knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth thereof I've shared with you how many times I'm I want to take a trip and somebody genuine prophet genuine some of them are my friends and send me a text and say apostle be careful i saw an accident i saw this that is the plan of the devil but the ability to know his plan and conquer it is where victory comes from listen to me it is selfish to forget about your family and forget the let me tell you this you know esther was going to make a mistake the same mistake of Vashti, Esther was about to make it. She was about to forget her people and the purpose for which she went to the palace. And Mordecai said, don't think 
that when they are done with us you will be spared sometimes when the devil wants to destroy you he will leave the most powerful person to continue while he destroys every other person do you know that their going down will affect you spiritually tonight we came for serious business I vowed a vow that I'm not going to waste the time of any of God's people no this 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 ministry is not a museum this is the place where we dislodge darkness you you have to return with a testimony a woman called me one time she had this son whether he joined friends or so and went somewhere I don't know what he went to go and do this young boy and maybe about 10 or 11 started hearing voices physical voices like word of knowledge sometimes they can tell him kill yourself or pour hot water you know you you know that is of the devil when the instruction does not carry the life of God God will never ask you to pour hot water on your body how does it glorify Jesus the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy and this boy continued to do all these kinds of things and i told her, i said mama thank god you brought this boy this boy would die for nothing one day hell is rearming itself to make sure there is an onslaught an assault against the body of christ and many times we are just crossing our legs listen i need you to know i've taught you about warfare we teach warfare correctly we are not people who fight from a standpoint of foolishness we are standing from a standpoint of victory but that establishment you must do it otherwise victory will not be automatic hebrews chapter 2 it says but we do not yet see all things under his feet please let me say this respectfully be careful who you listen to and be careful the content of the spiritual information you are giving just because people are sincere may not mean their communications are balanced and accurate listen to what i'm telling you many people have become casualties of imbalanced spiritual communications jesus told us everywhere in his crusade demons came they were not afraid of jesus's own crusade demons they followed people they didn't wait outside and enter later on they came imagine jesus in a crusade praise the lord the people shouted hallelujah and the demons were still in them and they did not go when the world is not engaged it does not have any power to do anything a spirit can sit down the same way some of you are sitting quietly now as sincere and innocent as you are in the next few minutes you'll be surprised what will be happening in your own life and then you will see doors that have been closed opening like this then you will know that these doors were not closed by mistake and will not be opened by mistake everything good comes to everybody except you the moment is your turn something terrible happens a gentleman just sees you and say beautiful lady can i go and see your parents and that's the end of it his business goes down his life goes down everything crashes until he leaves you then he goes back up do you believe what i'm teaching you So while it is true that it's the Holy Spirit that ultimately creates conviction, the manifestation of the miraculous in our lives and in the church. You know, when I came down, you need to see the multitudes of people outside. There are people sitting on the soccer way here. My brothers and my sisters, listen, you went to school. Do you think human beings are stupid? Do you think someone will transport himself from another nation or another state? Some of you have not eaten since you came. You came straight to sit down. Is God so wicked to sit down and allow you carry your trouble and go back? Oh, not Koinonia. I welcome you to a place where God has given us the keys to deal with everything that is not of God. I saw so many people standing outside the overflow by the roadside and compassion just gripped my heart i said imagine if i were one of these people and they were happily standing 
they were not complaining they just knew that if i may but touch the hem of his garment my brothers and my sisters let me tell you forgive me if it sounds proud but god has given us something let me tell you sincerely we we make bold and we ask the world to come and receive because he has given us something i told you last week you only knock a door that you don't have the key when you have a key you don't you stop knocking you open that's the same way your destiny will be opened the lord declared prophetically that this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness so in a meeting like this if i were you my heart is stayed on that word listen let me tell you please listen you see me teaching passionately we are going to pray when i teach like this huh? i don't teach as a preacher i come with my heart full of a burden are you getting what i'm saying i come sincerely with my heart full of a burden because i love god but i love his people too my greatest satisfaction is not my personal progress is seeing the hand of god made manifest in your life when instructions are given when these spiritual things are given you must open your heart to believe them you see the the gospel works with the simplicity of childlike faith sometimes many of us carry this trado african pride and that's what stops us from receiving god wants to step in and touch you and you are wondering will god really touch me you know my peculiar problem you know the name are you the first to be in trouble God knows how to deliver the righteous from trouble. Let me tell you this. I don't care what the situation is, but I want us to agree that this God of heaven, uh, the king of the universe, that he will arise for you tonight. You see, let me tell you this. My prayer this year, when I was fasting and praying this year, I prayed a prayer. I said, Lord, some people don't know what a testimony is. Give them one. They only know how other people's testimonies. The Lord did this for this, but they have never had a testimony themselves. The day you have a real testimony yourself, it will humble you. You wouldn't know whether to stand or to kneel down. That's what I'm praying for you for today. A testimony. When the hand of God comes in a meeting and upon a man, you see, let me tell you this. The supernatural is not just falling down and roll. You can fall down and roll from left to right and stand up and go back and not testify. The proof that God came is the testimony that follows. The testimony. The testimony of Jesus. The testimony of Jesus. Apostle, I came here barren, March miracle service. By April miracle service, I'm one month pregnant. That's a testimony. Listen, come, David. Down. When the devil oppresses your life, destroys everything about you, he uses men as a canvas to write a letter to God that your dominion and your royalty is still being contested with oppression is a letter sent through men to god the highest of god's creation the devil writes upon your life i will destroy the family and i will make sure everyone begs like you send a um, a chat send and then a miracle is god's reply that god writes through you and says in spite of this i am still on the throne It's true. I believe in miracles. I honestly and truthfully believe in miracles. I believe in principles. I believe in mysteries. But I believe in divine intervention. My brothers and my sisters, God can shorten a man's journey. What then is the excellency of his mercy? Listen, 
God is a God of process. I agree. Listen carefully. God is a God of principles. I agree. He will not excuse laziness and he will not excuse spiritual laxity. But let me tell you, when blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. The mercy of God can shorten the journey of a man. If you get born again at age 40, do you know how long it takes to know God? genuinely know God you don't read your Bible in two months and know God but there's something the Spirit of God can do and give you a solid encounter that in six months you have caught up with the spiritual level of more than five years how about restoration your parents started building from 1999 till today it has stopped at Linter level right there you went to school and said, I'm going to pay it and finish everything. The day you said you will pay it, you almost died. I made a vow with my life that I would believe this word and I will engage it. Life is too risky to be careless with spiritual laws. Engage it. Don't wait until the devil kills your life and your children before. You know, many believers learn too late. Let me say this and thank God for his mercy you will receive. But do you know there are some of you, the Lord spoke to you about coming here since last year. You've been arguing and giving reasons and excuses. Your situation would not have been that bad. But thank God because although Lazarus was three days dead, Jesus is still the resurrection and the life. Not only the healer. When I prayed, I told the Lord, I said, please Lord, give people a testimony. Real testimonies. I was blind. Now I see. God did something in three weeks to my finances. Everybody see what God can do. God transformed my family. God turned me around and did something for me. I don't doubt your love for God, but there must be proofs of that love. There must be proofs of that love. Somebody shout, Lord, give me an evidence. Say, Lord, give me an evidence. I believe in proofs. John chapter 4 and verse 48. I'll begin to pray shortly. Bless you. 4 verse 48. He says, And Jesus said unto him, Who was speaking here? Jesus. Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. How true. How true. That there are so many people in your family, until they see what the power of God does in your life. They will never believe your God. They think God is one of those things. This is a charm. This is this. This is that. And then God is one of them. But the day like Dagon, all those gods fall before the almighty God and you return back with a solid evidence. Let me tell you that day, like Pharaoh, your loved ones will confess that this your God is God. Are we together so i want you to be serious don't sit down and just look around and say ah who is going to receive let me clap for him no it's an insistence it's a desperation except you see miraculous signs you shall not believe luke chapter 5 we'll read the first 11 verses that miracles can help to create solid convictions. Charles and Francis Hunter, powerful evangelists, they've gone to be with the Lord now. They wrote a book that a miracle is worth a thousand words. I believe them. I believe them. The world is tired of our noise and our stories. They want to see a demonstration and a manifestation of the reality of the life and the power of God. He says, and it came to pass as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God. He stood by the lake of Gennesaret. Next verse, please. And saw two sheep standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. Uh -huh. We're reading to 11. And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. 
next verse now when he had left speaking he said unto simon launch out into the deep and let your nets for a drought five what happened Simon answering said master we have toiled all night in other words he said lord look you are not the first to pray for me a man of god prayed for me in zaria another man prayed in wherever you know so god is one of those things you bless me oh yeah do it master we have toiled all night not for a few hours all night night vigil looking for a fish and did not catch even one it says nevertheless at thy word i will let down the net six and when they had this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their neck seven and they beckoned unto their partners which were in the other ship that they should come and help them and they came and filled both ships miracles can create relationships that you get a miracle and partners that were minding their business you can say come and join me who will not follow someone with results who will not let me tell you the bible talks about a wealthy man and um, how did he put it now a poor man that we even with much entreaties they will run away from him there are many people that come from where we come from and will pass us as if they don't know us because you represent shame and anything that looks like Ichabod, the departure of the glory, men will usually find a way to excuse it from. Ah, but the Bible says you will be called Beulah and Hephzibah, a delight. And they came and filled both ships so that they began to sing. Verse 8 when simon peter saw this look at this this is what miracles do he fell down at jesus's knees saying depart from me i'm a sinful man was a sermon preached a serious miracle happened and that miracle created conviction the same way some of you have been laughing at men of god sincerely and laughing at everything that has to do with the power of god and by the time we'll be sharing the grace tonight you will stand and go back quietly not talking to anybody and say i've seen today i heard with my ears like job but i've seen with my eyes that god is real and his power is real his grace is real nine for he was this is what led to the repentance he was so men can be astonished to repentance that they look at your life and say promise when did this happen when did god lift you was it not last year together we were discussing and you tell him there is a name god is called though, the lifter of men the lifter of men let me tell you my brothers and my sisters run away from anybody who tell you results don't matter they do they do out of the abundance of the evidence of the workings of God in your life the nations will bow to your God they will never bow to you just because you are talking man of God hear me no results you have MP pews there's there's no way around it there must be an evidence a serious evidence when John questioned the messiahship of Jesus he didn't answer with a statement he said go and tell John what you have seen the blind see the deaf hear the dead are raised and the gospel is preached to the meek and then he says blessed is he that is not offended so the moment there are no miracles the messiahship of the Christ is questioned John himself the one who ordained Jesus said go and ask him is he the messiah Miracles confirm that Jesus is the Messiah. God is not a herbalist. He's not a herbalist that is ahead of other herbalists. No. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. There are people who have names. Politicians have names. Businessmen have names. Captains of industry. Gatekeepers of mountains have names. But my brothers and my sisters, there is a name. It says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved and it's in that name tonight that we will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness Amen. 
the miraculous manifests the glory of God and causes people to not only believe God but to trust God John chapter 2 and verse 11 the first miracle of Jesus what we call the miracle at the wedding of the Cana of Galilee he turned water to wine the Bible says this beginning of miracles this beginning of not this beginning of sermons not this beginning of discussions this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and the disciples believed on him believed on him we believe in the God that heals and saves and delivers that's why we kept the seats for you that's why we we knew you would come because the hand of God will bring you and we knew you would not be disappointed brothers and sisters there is a God in heaven God is not a herbalist don't let your pain demean him he is still the king of the universe the whole world lieth in wickedness Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good it takes the manifestation of the power of God to do good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him for God was with him for God was with him we're going to pray you have to convince yourself it's going to be a quick walk and we're going to cry to God and say Lord whatever I carried from my house whatever I carried from my place of work that I brought before you it should not return back with me it should be clear and evident that I met the Lord Jesus Christ it should be clear and evident right where you are sitting you will soon stand up but right where you are sitting i like you to talk to the lord please be serious and be desperate lord i have come to you i've come to you i've come to you i've come to you my life must be changed my finances must be changed my destiny must be changed lord i've come to you as a pastor i've come to you as a prophet as an apostle there has to be greater oil upon my life lord i hear you are a restorer restore me online please make sure you are praying those outside make sure you are praying there is a god that answers prayer when the lord turned again the captivity of zion it says we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord had done great things for them it says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity like the streams of the negev turn again our captivity there is a god that can turn around the captivity of men pray doesn't matter where you are seated doesn't matter where you are connecting from the power of God is able to save to the uttermost father I'm praying that infirmity in my body must leave this night. 
that financial situation must die this night. That oppression that has kept my family down. Did the Bible not say this is a victory that overcometh the world, even our faith? A miracle walker, God is a glorious God. God is a miracle walker, God is a glorious. shortly and I'll begin to minister by the Spirit your own assignment is to receive you have come let me tell you something there is enough grace to solve whatever challenge it is that has plagued you yours is to believe in the power of God it says if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A lady, the power of God is going to come upon a lady outside. Please carry her and bring her now. There is a lady I'm seeing. I just saw light from in here. Write the power of God upon that lady. Please bring her. Please bring her. And then bring the someone on this row. I'm seeing like, like a smoke just going round. And it's like it's locating someone. The power of God is going to come on someone. Please pick the person and bring the person out. You reign. You reign. Hello. From outside I crush the hand of captivity over your life in the name of Jesus Christ I crush the hand of captivity over your family in the name of Jesus I saw a lot of oppression 
over the life of this lady and in the name of Jesus we silence the voice of wickedness we silence the voice of wickedness hold on please the Lord is showing me something right now I saw this while I ministered in Abel Kuta I started seeing snakes on the ground snakes on the ground and that's what I'm seeing right now and this is this is the manifestation of a spirit and there are many families that are under this yoke whether you believe it or not just let me minister to you I'm declaring right now the power of God is going to start coming on people that represent those families bring them out you are not shouting anything you are not saying anything bring them out I'm speaking by the spirit the word of God has been declared there are families I'm seeing serpents, snakes, snakes, inside and outside. Bring them. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. And the captives of the mighty, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, I judge those spirits wherever you are, represented in anyone here represented in anyone here i speak by the hand of god you reign, you reign. Hello, bring them out i'm still on that case the power of god is still locating people i'm seeing snakes Jesus I'm still praying we're not doing too many things tonight we're going to the root of many people's challenges I'm saying it again there are still spirits and I speak by the anointing of the Spirit of God wherever they are overflow one two three across the road I'm declaring judgment judgment upon those spirits the fire of God is coming upon you right now whether you are standing for yourself or for your family bring them out there is no escape for when his voice comes they come out from their hiding place Hallelujah. Now listen, there are people, I'm seeing something that looks like a knife being inserted in people and I'm seeing people beginning to run, just run. When you see people doing that, hold them and bring them. The Lord is bringing deliverance. That one is not speed. This one is not the prayer for speed. I'm just telling you as the Lord is showing me. Right now I decree and declare. I don't know those that the Lord is cutting them free from every kind of diabolism. But I stretch my hands by the Spirit. I command judgment on every force. Judgment on every power. In the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of God is coming upon them. You will begin to see them run around. Just running. It's, it's, it's not a, a making of their own. It's by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out.
Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me an instruction right now. Now we are ready to shout. Listen. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing what looks like a grave. And the Lord is saying he's delivering families from the power of the grave. In the name of Jesus Christ and at the count of three, any family, whether territorially or by whatever connection, is tied to the spirit of the grave. I'm declaring at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, the power of God is setting you free. One, two, three. Jesus. The spirit of the grave, the spirit of the grave, the spirit of the grave, I curse you by the God of heaven, the spirit of the grave, I curse you by the God of heaven. Just follow me this night. Now, I'm praying for all those in front. They came out because the Lord showed something. I declare by the power of God that the legal access of darkness over your life is broken and at the count of three i speak to these spirits release everything you have taken from these families one two go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies out of their lives out of their destinies i command a release i command a release i command a release, I command a release. Release breakthroughs. Release open doors. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Please just pay attention and let God help you. You came here tonight to receive. Listen to me. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people you dare not go to bed. Someone must come in your sleep and try to sleep with you. Or it may happen once in a while. This is a strange oppression of darkness. And I declare, I'm praying right now. I'm seeing fire all over this place. Because there are many people. That is the root cause of many oppressions in your life. At the count of three, you will shout that name again. That is above every other name. And some of you will feel something leaving you immediately. I declare that all these spirits that molest the saints and manipulate dreams and visions at the count of three let there be emancipation one two get ready three i command those spirits go now strangers of the night strangers of the night help that gentleman strangers of the night Bring them out. Strangers of the night. I curse you by the God of heaven. Molesting the saints. Planting sicknesses in their bodies. Hello, Madonna. a certain family here I'm seeing that they tied the family to the covenant of a stone something that has to do with a stone I don't know what that means and in what tribe but I'm seeing a covenant that has to do with being tied to a stone I don't know if it's for protection or for whatever but in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now 
by the power of the Holy Spirit that any fraternity with the elements of creation let it be broken now in the name of Jesus help them please let it be broken now in the name of Jesus fraternities with stones and elements and strange fires of the night be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus the mysteries behind the strange hardship of people the mysteries behind the oppression of people oppression of families doors doors are opening that's what i'm seeing in the spirit doors doors some of you will feel fire on your hands fire on your hands doors are opening two leaf gates in the spirit fire on your hand you will know by the fire that comes to your hand i'm seeing fire coming on people's hands that's what i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit doors opening you must testify doors opening doors opening doors opening age long doors age long doors that have been closed for many years I'm seeing an angel of the Lord stand just at the back of this young man. Please shift, my friend. These four ladies, one, two, three, four. I'm seeing an anointing on you people. One, two, three, four. I don't know what it is that God is taking out, but I'm seeing like chains being taken from your feet, chains being removed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I saw an angel stand there, chains being taken up from your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, chains being taken from off your feet. Listen, let me explain something to you. This is not just some disorganized jamboree. God is turning the destinies of men up. You will see people return with testimonies because there are forces. Emmanuel. I'm hearing the name Emmanuel. Who is that? Emmanuel. Please don't make the place rowdy, Emmanuel. We're going to pray for the sick now. There are four of you I'm seeing here. You have the call of God upon your life, but there are strange altars that are holding you down. In the name of Jesus, I lose you now. I lose you by the force of the Spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I lose you. I release your ministry. Hear me. I'm speaking by the Spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I stand by this apostolic anointing. I lose you. If I be called of God, I lose you. I lose you from these forces. I lose you from these yokes. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are men that can be alive, let me tell you, but they are dead in the spirit. Emmanuel, I'm praying. We don't have time to minister individuals, individually, but I'm praying for you. The Lord is breaking delay from four of the families with Emmanuel. No, no, once I mention your case, the power of God is coming upon you. You will know it's your case. I stretch my hands now among the Emmanuels and the people delay 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 there is an anointing coming now is crushing that spirit just because I'm praying for Emmanuel does not mean it will not come upon you in the name of Jesus delay delay God is visiting delay 
broken by the Spirit of God. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. He came to set the captives free. To set the captives free. Hold on. This young lady, lift your hands. This, this, yes, you. Lift your hands. I'm stretching my hands towards you. I don't know what it is that I saw, but I saw something like smoke. The other one, the smaller one with white. Yes. I just saw something like smoke coming out of you. And the Lord is saying this is oppression for many years that has something to do with your abdominal region. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, let that oppression go. Let it leave you. Let it go. Let it leave you right now. In the name of Jesus. There is a woman. Now I'm going to pray for people generally. But I don't know how we will do this. There is a barren woman in overflow. Three. Barren woman. Trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Please, if, if you can allow the woman to run and come. God is instructing me to lay my hands on her because it's time for her to carry her child. Overflow three. Please let her run and come. I'm hearing a name, Maureen. 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 What is your name? Lift your hands. Where are you from? Shout Jesus loud as you can. Jesus! Let the power of witchcraft over your life be broken my dear look at me look at me shout Jesus. Jesus I crush that spirit right now in the name of Jesus and the man you see in your dream in the name of Jesus may you never see that man again please make sure you they don't why is mama here is she Maureen this woman I, I'll pray for you that woman come madam is that your daughter? Come, madam. Where are you coming from, ma? Let her come. Sir? Where are you coming from? I'm from area C. Area I'm C? No, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Mama, you are a sincere woman. But if I did not pray for you, huh? it's a bike that will kill you from the market in an accident. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this woman with a leather of potato and a bike man just comes to jam her together with a truck and they just say survive by that the woman is dead. I'm not a prophet of doom, mama. Please don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. I extend your life by the power of the Holy Spirit that the plague of death. See, let me prophesy upon someone here. Anyone here that the hand of death is upon you to see that you will not see the end of this year i'm praying by the spirit now i'm praying by the spirit and in the name of jesus anyone that the spirit of death is haunting anyone being haunted by the spirit of death i command that it is crushed now in jesus name what is your name my dear maury come you will look at a beautiful lady like this but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a human being, but no face. No face like this. I'm just seeing a blank face like this. Let me tell you what this means. It's a yoke of bad luck. That people stand and cannot bless you. You have what it takes to be blessed and rewarded. The lady on yellow, lift your hands. There's the call of God upon your life. There is a prophetic grace. That is upon you and the lord is saying you are stepping into it right now i stretch my hands to you 
right now in the name of Jesus may the Lord bring you into that grace I'm still praying for her in the name of Jesus I declare I'm seeing fire coming upon you right now and that fire will unlock a dimension of the prophetic in the name of Jesus Christ bad luck listen I'm going to hold her but a different person is the one that will receive before I pray for her this is just allow me do my, my mad thing hold my hand in the name of Jesus I'm not praying for her I'm praying for someone now by the spirit of the Lord but the Lord is saying I should hold her as I pray for the person Lord in the name of Jesus this yoke of bad luck I'm speaking now please help them this yoke of bad luck by the power of the Holy Spirit where good things don't seem to happen to you in the name of Jesus let it be broken now 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 now let me pray for you be free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I take away this that I'm seeing and in the name of Jesus you have an identity in the spirit that brings honor that brings grace and dignity in Jesus name I pray where are these ones we're going to pray for the sick your name is Maureen are you married you are married yes sir but you don't have a child yes sir from overflow three yes sir where's your husband not here it's not but you're married yes sir. come and stand here and watch the god of wonders i don't know you madam from overflow three you are from overflow three you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb why did you come your name is maureen what do you do madam hold on i'm a business woman you're a business woman where i used to sell at the young um random canoe but right now the business is scattered. do you know why i'm asking you no I must pray for you because this thing is not only you there is nobody doing well in your family your entire family this is what I'm seeing is a spirit huh? except you open up something and miss even physical money used to get missing from you you will keep money and count it and found find out that it's not what you kept is that true if I'm lying just say I'm lying where are you from from a new Anambra state. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the state Anambra. I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state now. I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state. Anyone, usually when God shows me this, anybody who is from that state connected by blood, the power of God begins to come upon them to bring deliverance. It's a sign and a wonder. I'm declaring right now in the name of Jesus that anyone who is from that state and that region and there is any force and yoke that is fighting you be free right now in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus please help them be free in the name of Jesus Anambra states be free in the name of Jesus I'm still seeing the map in my vision be free in the name of Jesus My friend, that young man holding his hands, shout Jesus from where you are. The yoke is broken. I cast it out of your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Look at me. You insulted a woman some years ago. And the woman told you it will not be well with you. It was like a joke. Truly the thing followed you. This is what God is showing me. Now, I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know if it, the woman annoyed you or what is it. You insulted the woman. And she stood and told you that it will not be well. Because what you were saying about her was not what she did. Hold my hands. The Bible says, even the lawful captive shall be delivered let me tell you my brothers and my sisters the scourging tongues of men the scourging tongues of men except you know where you stand a cause causeless shall not stand but if there is a cause it will stand though it will stand 
Are we together now? I will pray. Where are your siblings, madam? Hi. This woman, no. You are not here alone. Where are the rest? Call them. Just stand where you call. What is their name? AGK. Quickly, please. And Victor. AGK, come. And, and who? Victor. That is and Victor. Yes. Victor is not your brother. Victor is a small my boy. Son, yes. Where is he? Let him come. Because I'm seeing the boy. You are saying Victor is a little boy. Ah. Uh, are you married? Yes. You have a son? Yes. Your son's name too is Victor? Yes, he's the one I'm calling. He's the boy that you are talking yes. about? You said your brother. No, HK is my brother. Then Let the boy come. Son. As young as that boy is too, if I don't pray for him, he will start stealing. Eh? There are two boys, small boys, that will be delivered from this spirit. No matter where you keep anything, they must steal it. We are not condemning people. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. God is delivering people. To the pure, all things are pure. Nobody is calling any family a bad family. But this is a place where God is visiting people. Where is the person, please? Come, celebrate him as he comes. You're welcome, sir. I will pray for you. God is going to turn your family around. This is the little boy. My friend, how are you? Come. How old are you? 11 years old. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I will pray for you. How can a nice boy like this and the next thing start picking things? Do you know? Let me tell you. These small children that steal are not thieves. It's just that either by carelessness or lack of discernment, it was not dealt with because most of what they steal, they don't need it. That's how you know it's a spirit. Are we together? Yes. That's why it's important that parents lay hands on their children and speak and prophesy. Don't assume they will be spiritual by default. My friend, let me pray for you. Father, thank you for this adorable young man. And this guy has a great destiny. You see this boy? I'm looking at a star rising as I'm laying my hands on him. This is what the Lord is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. You will be a great man by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hold this woman. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, what do you do? I'm a medical sales representative. You are a? Medical sales representative. Medical sales representative. Can I pray for you? You are a sincere person, huh? but this thing, they are just forces that want to destroy your family. I will pray for you. Huh? April, May, June. It will look like you held a charm. The way God will turn your life around. You believe it? In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. Madam, come. The power of God is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare this thing that I'm seeing tied to your waist, I lose it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, be set free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are the one trusting God for a child? Come. How long have you been married? Three years. Three years. Yes. No child. Yes. You too. Are you married? Five years. Four Five months. years. Four months. Yes. No child. No child. The doctor said after two surgeries, they said my husband cannot impregnate me. He did surgery twice. Don't cry. Jesus is here. Huh? You went through two surgeries. Where is your husband? He's at home. He's at home. Don't cry. Where are you from? Where are you coming from? Greatland. You see, th these are the things that sometimes worry my spirit. Imagine the kind of trouble that this family will go through. Sometimes we take some things for granted. Imagine the advices. Someone now will recommend and say, go to a herbalist. Go and do this. And don't cry, my sister. Two surgeries you went through. Mm. My head. Now, I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach. Look at what is happening to her. Yes, she went through two surgeries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit that says your husband cannot impregnate you. In the name of Jesus, I set you free now. 
Madam, I set you free now. I'm praying for the rest, but I set you free now. Hold my hands. Come. In the name of Jesus, I declare supernatural miracle for you now. Release this woman now. As I'm praying for you, I'm praying for your husband wherever he is. According to the time of life, may you return with your miracle children. It's over. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. My dear, let me. Why is this woman here? You are married to Madam? No child? How long? Four years and um, five months. Four years, five months. Where are you coming from? Jigawa State. From Jigawa State. Please come. Oh dear. Do you know why God is dealing with these issues? Because he has declared that it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. It's fruitfulness from any dimension any dimension look at this woman look at these women crying i may never understand what it means for a woman to not be able to take in i think it's the equivalent of a man not be able to provide for his family that you come back home and watch your wife and children and they say that they were hungry and you are clueless about where bread will come from my sister please don't cry who brought you here you came alone sarah huh? sarah oh dear Put your hand on your stomach. Is she a Christian? She's, she's a Christian? Yes. Okay. It doesn't matter whether you are a Muslim or Christian. The Lord, everybody the Lord healed in the Old Testament. He healed them and gave them an opportunity to hand their lives over. You just act like this just to show honor and respect people. I will pray for you. There is a name that is above every other name. And in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon your womb and I declare the embargo of barrenness, five years barrenness, let it be broken right now. Look at this, let it be broken right now. I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. And then I'm seeing you coughing. You are now beginning to cough. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing, but I'm seeing something come out of you and you are coughing, coughing something out. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be gone now let it be gone forever let it be gone forever let it be gone forever my dear put your hand on your stomach what's your name blessing, blessing. where's your husband he's not here he's not here yes. father in the name of jesus i don't care what the medical report is we agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now i decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we're not praying at random we'll pray madam i will pray for you where are you coming from huh nasarawa state nasarawa state are you alone no I'm you came with who only me only you come just the woman i will pray for her we have to pray for the sick but how many of you have seen what god is doing here listen you see if you love the lord and you see god attacking In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord just showed me something now. I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire. And the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people. I decree 
in the name of Jesus Christ father whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now I'm seeing a family of one, two, three, four, five, six graduates. Nobody's employed. Six graduates. You are all graduates. Nobody has a job. Who is that person? Six graduates. Please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out. Six graduates. No job. Not one person has a job. I want to pray for you. You're the one for the fruit of the womb? Huh? I have to pray for you. I'm seeing something in your stomach. Have you gone to the hospital? You've spoken with a doctor? Don't be embarrassed. I'm seeing something growing in your stomach. And this is not a baby. I will pray for you because if I don't pray for you, you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the Lord is showing me. And I'm going to pray for you. Where are you coming from, madam? Kano. Kano. Is your husband here? Is your husband here? Yes. Where is he? Husband, sir, please come. There's Daddy something the Lord wants to do in your family. Don't worry, he's, he's here. He's coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. God bless you. I want to pray for you. You came from Kano too? You came from Kano too, sir? I'm going to pray for you. Think come out of you. Opportunity to hand their lives. Opportunity to hand their lives over. You just act like this just to show honor and respect people. I will pray for you. There is a name that is above every other name. And in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon your womb. And I declare the embargo of barrenness, five years barrenness. Let it be broken right now. Look at this. Let it be broken right now. I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. And then I'm seeing you coughing. You are now beginning to cough. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing, but I'm seeing something come out of you and you are coughing, coughing something out. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be gone now. Let it be gone forever. Let it be gone forever. Let it be gone forever. My dear, put your hand on your stomach. What's your name? Blessing. Blessing. Where's your husband? He's not here. He's not here. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't care what the medical report is. We agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now. I decree and declare according to the time of life, return with your child. Whatever needs to be corrected in this body now, I correct it by the power. Ah, I'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. You will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a, look at what is happening to her. A correction, a correction of whatever is wrong. In the name of Jesus. Why are they here? Fruit of the womb. Uh, we are not praying at random. We will pray. Madam, I will pray for you. Where are you coming from? Huh? Nasarawa State. Nasarawa State. Are you alone? No, I'm You came with who? Only me. Only you. Come. Just the woman. I will pray for her. We have to pray for the sick. But how many of you have seen what God is doing here? Listen, you see, if you love the Lord and you see God attacking... In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord just showed me something now. I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire. And the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people 
in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now I'm seeing a family of one two three four five six graduates nobody's employed six graduates you are all graduates nobody has a job who is that person six graduates please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out six graduates no job not one person has a job i want to pray for you you're the one for the fruit of the womb huh i have to pray for you i'm seeing something in your stomach have you gone to the hospital you've spoken with a doctor don't be embarrassed i'm seeing something growing in your stomach and this is not a baby i will pray for you because if i don't pray for you you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the lord is showing me and i'm going to pray for you where are you coming from madam kano kano is your husband here is your husband here yes where is he husband sir please come there's Daddy, something the lord wants to do in your family don't worry he's, he's here he's coming thank you sir thank you for coming god bless you i want to pray for you you came from kano too you came from kano too sir i'm going to pray for you number one god is going to give you the fruit of the womb number two god is restoring your finances you hear what i'm saying Amen. god is restoring your finances Amen. this is a serious issue as you are here coming now the financial trouble you are into is only god that can bring you out Amen. is that true god is going to help you madam put your hand on your stomach in the name of jesus christ why are they here six graduates no job in the name of jesus christ father by your mercy and by your grace let there be a sign and a wonder in the life of this woman just keep her down in the name of jesus i declare by the power of the holy spirit everything that is wrong be corrected now in the name of jesus sir please can you hold my hands in the name of jesus i speak over your finances there is a grace that can restore and i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ madam let me talk to you and then we'll pray for the sick you are the both of you where are you coming from you are here in zaria yes and you are, yes i know your face six graduates no job yes sir including you yes sir come no but there are and six people yes. but there's no job for yes, them sir. can we agree that god will give them a job yes sir and you too yes. let's pray come hold my hands father in the name of jesus christ there is an anointing that is coming upon you eh? and is for the sake of your family in the name that is above all names i release this grace upon you and i pray let the embargo of joblessness be broken now even on both of you i use you as a point of contact to pray now something is leaving this lady's hand you something is leaving your hand i cost that yoke now in the name of jesus your hand is a symbol of your productivity and I declare in the name of Jesus, let there be liberty. Liberty for all of you. Liberty. I open the doors of jobs. In Jesus' name I pray. Why is he here? You are a graduate. Six. From where, please? From Abuja. Abuja. Yes. You are a school of ministry student. Madam, let me talk to you. Where are you coming from? Nasarawa State. Are you married? Bring the person that begins to laugh in the spirit. The hand of God is coming upon someone. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory will not depart from the tents of the righteous please bring the person let's save time father i establish this victory 
over this lady's life the oppression over your life and your family is broken now and broken forever broken now and broken forever we don't have time our time is gone but the Lord is showing me a very serious vision of a lady that entered a relationship with a gentleman and left him and the guy vowed I'm seeing this guy carry not you now I'm seeing this guy carry a photo and taking it to a herbalist in Kaduna state Hello Kim Matona Hello Hello Kim Matona under this grace whose name has been taken for any diabolic activity I stand by the hand of God whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. I'm still praying. Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. This is what the Lord showed me. Carry the name of the lady and kept it there. That number one, no decent man will ever come and ask her out. And number two, she will never give birth. This is what I'm seeing. Who shall say a thing and it will come to pass? That when God has not declared it so. I reverse every pronouncement over anyone here in the name of Jesus. I want to pray a prayer. Please forgive me for tonight's miracle service. The way God is taking us. I want to pray. Shade and doctor, please come. The Lord wants to end an old issue in your family. Please come. This is what the Lord is showing me. This thing I'm seeing is as old as more than 60, 70 years. The Lord is opening my eyes to see now. Please, I want to pray for you. Those under the anointing, help them. Please, I'm just using two of you as a point of contact. But I'm seeing a spirit. This is an ancient spirit. The way this thing works is that men rise. The moment they get to the zenith of anything they are doing, they must die. This is the spirit I'm seeing. Please listen. I'm not... I'm just using them and I'm ministering the way God is showing me. These are not the only families with this thing, but the Lord is saying I should deal with it now. Provided you have not gotten to the pinnacle, you, no death will touch you. But the moment you touch that bar, you are going down. And the Lord wants to destroy it. Because God is using both of you to start a new program in the family. I will follow the lion. I will follow the lamb. I will follow the lion. I will follow the lamb. I believe in the lion. Bring that little girl, as small as that girl you see is. This girl you are seeing is a deliverer of our family. As small as you are seeing this, this little girl. Because this girl stands as an altar of righteousness over her family. And as small as she is, the devil wants to kill her. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, I use this, my dear daughter, as a point of contact. That everything that is not the planting of God, I scatter it now in the name of Jesus. May God use this, our precious daughter, 
and truly may she be the deliverer of her family in the name of Jesus a lady is going to start running because I'm about to pray over a spirit that is in her family and that spirit is going to start driving her to run away so I'm telling you in advance you are going to see the person stand up to start running away it's, it's not even this lady I'm talking about this is somebody in the crowd you will not even you will not be in control of yourself it's a spirit because I'm about to rebuke it right now father I thank you for the Bonire family and by extension the various families the altar that sits upon this family even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives I break that yoke now I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood that ancient yoke that brings down great men over this family be broken I open up the door of increase rise to the senate of your profession I forbid the spirit of death once and for all in a moment in a twinkling of an eye an issue that is age long let me tell you this a mighty deliverance has happened to this family this thing I'm telling you fought their grandparents fought their parents and if not delivered now will still fight them if there's anyone here that this same spirit works in your family you rise to a position and crash down in the name of Jesus at the count of three let fire land upon such individuals and scatter that altar scatter that altar forever in the name of Jesus Christ it took words to establish the covenant that brought this family in trouble now I declare to you, a new order starts in your lineage. A new order starts in your family. Where children live long and they become successful. And that every embargo of witchcraft, once and for all, is broken in the name of Jesus. Madam, I can pray for you now. Where did you say you are from? Just, just keep her somewhere there or bring a chair and keep her. You are not from Nasarawa State. You stay in Nasarawa yes, State. Where are you from? Ebony State. Ebony State. Ebony State. I want to pray for you. Am I wasting your time, please? One encounter with the power of God is enough to turn your life around. My friend, this man wearing um, you. Yes. Did you come alone? Who did you come with? Where's your wife? Come. It's time for God to change your life. Stand up, stand up. Please stand up, stand up. Where are you coming from? From campus, yes, sir. You are from campus, yes, here. sir. What do you do? I'm a lecturer in the university. You're a lecturer? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Ah. Sir, you are not supposed to be at this level now. You are a very brilliant man. You, but there, you are intelligent. I don't know you, all, you but sir. you are a brilliant man. It Thank even you, took grace for you to be given a lecturing job. Yes, it's because there is no way they could deny you. Yes, you were too exceptional. Yes, and you are supposed to be abroad now. Yes, I don't know what has kept yes, you down. Sir. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. You are not supposed to be here. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. somebody carried your issue and put it under the table. You see, you see what we are talking about? that you carry a man's destiny see let me say it i'm praying to you from my heart that in the name of jesus whatever belongs to you and has been hijacked by the wicked hearts of men it must be released this night it must be released this night sir please stand up what's your department 
political science. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. You will know that there is a God in heaven. Amen. What do you do, my dear? I'm not doing anything. You are not doing anything. No, sir. Ah, I have to pray for you. Yes, sir. Ah, that trip abroad, you must go. Amen. Amen. Because there is an honor and there is a professor that God has destined that you will meet. Amen. And I'm going to pray. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, sir, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I release you and I release your destiny. Amen both for you and your wife i decree and declare scale new heights in your profession in the name of jesus christ number two there is a friend in your life and the lord is telling me to tell you to be careful there is a friend in your life be careful i won't say more than that be careful what god has joined let no man put asunder I'll stop there. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you. In Jesus' name. Madam, you have been here for a while. Let's pray. What are you trusting God for? For marriage. Who came from Joss? Joss. Joss. Where did you come from? Madam, where did you come from? Focus. Huh? Focus. From Joss. Not state of origin where you came from that you left it and came huh i want to pray for you what do you do i, I i'm a secretary you are what i'm a secretary you are a secretary yes, sir. come let me pray for you I... one of these days we'll just trust god and do a night vigil honestly so that we can deal with this issue seriously you may think that time is being wasted until you see what God is turning around in your life. All these people came from Joss. Madam, say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I will not have what they call that pregnancy. That they'll have to do, um, no, bridge is bridge or something like that. This is what I'm saying. I'm not pregnant. All done. Let me pray for you. Come. You are sick. It looks like pregnancy like his breach this is what i'm saying the pregnancy that looks like is that will open you up and carry something out where are you coming from just what did they say is wrong with you um, multiple fibrosis no a man don't feel embarrassed can i talk to you a man used to come in a dream huh yes, and sleep with you yes, sir. is that true yes, sir. that's what brought this pregnancy I'm a man of God. Don't be af afraid. You, you heard the story I told you now. Yes, sir. Madam, if I'm lying, look at me before the whole world and say I'm a liar. That you go to bed and a man comes and all of a sudden this started coming. Of course, medically you would think that, okay, you check it. There is nothing there. Yet the pregnancy will not go. How long has this thing been? Three years. Three years. Don't cry. Don't cry. Who did you come with? <laughs> May this place remain a place of solutions. Was it not the fallen angels that met with the daughters of men and they became pregnant physically? and had strange go and listen to my teaching the mystery of the serpent and the woman my sister can i pray for you you believe in jesus look at this adorable lady look at imagine a woman carrying this for three years is that pregnancy it does a human being stay three years in the stomach are you married of course imagine what this this means to her marital life. Put your hand there. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this. Look at what is happening to the woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that every seed that has not been planted by God, let it be uprooted in this body. 
Is it not written that every tree that has not been planted by my father, it must be uprooted? I uproot this right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot this right now. In the name of Jesus. By a strange mystery, may this thing begin to go down and disappear from this woman's body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just keep her down there. Madam, let me pray for you. What do you want the Lord to do for you? I'm believing him for a life partner. Life partner. Do you believe God can give you a life partner? Yes, sir. Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. You are born again. Father, the Bible says male and female, he created them. She's not embarrassed. She's standing sincerely and telling you that I came so that God will bless me with a life partner. I lay my hands upon you and I decree and declare, may God bring a responsible man to your life. Amen. You will not marry a man that will make your yesterday better than your tomorrow. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare it so. And for all these people standing, I pray for them. May the Lord himself bring miracles over their life. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. I may not have time to minister to all of you one by one. Please forgive me. Huh? Coincidentally, I'm going to just tomorrow. I'll be in just Saturday, Sunday. I'm ministering in a conference. I'm excited. I'll be in House on the Rock at Rayfield. Saturday and Sunday. I'm in just... But let me pray for you, all of you who came all the way. My dear, look at me. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. With all your heart? Yes, sir. I drive the boy that the devil wants to bring to your life. Say amen. Amen. You, you may not understand what I'm saying, but let me repeat myself. I drive I didn't say God drove him. In the name of Jesus Christ, as one who loves you, eh? I drive any irresponsible boy that is coming in the name of prayer warrior to destroy your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm Amen. not looking down. It is God's will that all men be saved. But then I'm telling you that in the name of Jesus Christ, everything that would destroy your destiny, let it be far from you. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. For all of you, I may not know why you came, but let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. In the name, just believe what I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. God bless you. Please go back to your seat, my God. Can we still pray for the sick? How many of you are trusting God for healing? Let me see your hands out right there. Okay, this is what is going to happen. It's okay, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. you. You came, you brought them. Okay, I'm going to pray for you now. You just relax. Now, please, because of time, those under the anointing, just leave them if there's no... Usher, hold on. A lady usher, place your hand on that girl any lady usher release her now out in the name of Jesus let it come to an end now and forever release her destiny release her family in the name of Jesus Christ let there be restoration let there be testimonies please this is how we are going to do it because our time is already gone we are going to do three things at the same time please listen number one you are going to be submitting your prayer requests number two those who are trusting god for healing in the various overflows please aside from those that i prayed for for barrenness if your reason of coming here is barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i want you to come to overflow one I want to pray for you myself aside from that please you are trusting God for a healing miracle I want you to move to your various overflows so those at overflow one move to the front of your projector stand overflow two the same thing overflow three the same thing those by the roadside the roadside down to second equa join overflow two you can join overflow too, please. 
Usher's protocol PR department, coordinate yourself to help them, please, so that the people know what they are doing. Praise the Lord. Those in here, you can come. You can come. The Lord bless you. Now, there are going to be men and women of God scattered across these various places who are ministering under a corporate anointing. Make sure you are standing for healing, please. Make sure you are standing for healing. No, no, no. Those for fruit of the womb, come in, please. The main auditorium. I want to lay hands on you by myself. It doesn't matter what overflow you are. If it is fruit of the womb, please come. The main auditorium. I want to pray for you. Now, please listen. Just a touch is enough. You don't have to start explaining and telling the men of God this is a problem. Sometimes God can give them words. If they don't, don't worry. Just a touch and you will go back. I want you to believe this. That's why you came. Are we together? While that is happening, if you have your prayer request here, you can just wave it and pass it. Let there be an usher. Okay, um, peace is here. You can pass it. Let there be an usher or somebody. Please, um, the various departments, coordinate yourself so that you are collecting this. Let's make it fast. Those online, um, you can use our social media platforms to submit your requests. And we're going to pray on it right now. Please, quickly, quickly. A Jimmy and a Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one. A Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one. Um, Pastor Alpha and Benga will go to overflow three. Overflow three. Pastor Femi and Kenny. And Ima go to overflow too. Also extend to those by the roadside. Extend to those by the roadside. Did you get? Let me pray for you, Pastor Lawrence. Come. I will pray for you and then you will join those at overflow three. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the anointing, let the grace of the Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, please, worship team, you give us songs of the Spirit while we are ministering. And as soon as hands are laid on you, you can go back rejoicing. Those who are seated, don't be careless, be praying in the Spirit. Because God is solving people's problems while you gather the prayer requests. If you are yet to submit yours, just wave it and there will be someone to reach you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare that within the next 10 or so minutes that we have, do a quick walk in the life of your people. In the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk in the life of your people. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone will fall under the anointing here. Once that happens, the power of God will start moving to heal right here those in front here okay so i can start praying now in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed praise the lord please everyone stand say after me in the name of jesus whether you are inside or outside say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the next dimension of my life opens up now lift up your voice and begin to pray please begin to pray
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I like you to begin to declare that every request you have written here that by the grace of God this will be the last time you have to visit this issue please pray please pray our time is gone but let's make use of the time stretch your hands here and begin to decree and declare that in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God every request that I've written here by the God of heaven let this be the last time may the Lord arise and solve impossible situations arise in the name of Jesus are you praying father that these Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever the requests of those localized here and those who have posted their requests on our social media platforms we declare intervention we declare breakthrough we declare increase Listen to me. Please listen. Listen, look up everybody. What does it take to live where you are to the next level? On the part of God, power. On your part, anger and hunger. Two things. Anger and hunger are required ingredients to break through your current season. If you are not angry enough, you will remain there. Giving excuses. And if you are not hungry enough, you cannot be filled. Man of God, you will remain at that level of the anointing. Praying for 100 people and having only one person getting healed. It won't work that way. The nations won't place a demand upon you that way. That is the honest truth. Professional. Uh-uh. Not at that level. someone is going to pray father i am tired of this level i am both angry at this level thank you for this level but lord i know that i am overdue when a baby stays more than nine months in his mother's womb he calls for concern when a baby stays in his mother's womb if it is before nine months that's fine the baby has to be patient but above nine months doctors will tell us there is a problem lift your voice and pray Bring a performance, oh God, at another level. Bring a performance in ministry. Bring a performance in family. Bring a performance in my finances. Bring a performance in my destiny. Empowerment from heaven. The grace that turns dreams to their reality. Outside are you praying? Inside are you praying? Shatter branda gata katos koto fresh, ella kata branda zagat iskali katos kasi ne kata, manda praka tos koto blazi kete breskiya. Holy Ghost. 
coming upon your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please listen. When God answers your prayer, how does he answer it? By giving you power. God answers prayer by sending power. The power that turns that desire to its reality. Now listen, I'm going to pray on your prayer request. But before I start ministry, you are going to pray on it by yourself. And declare that Lord, in this season, this and that and that. Make your request known as you pray. Please do not keep quiet. And don't say God cannot do it all. Don't entertain unbelief. You don't have to lift it up. Even if it's written somewhere, you just begin to pray. Mention everything by name. Father, it is within your power to make great. It is within your power to prosper. It is within your power to lift. Someone pray. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Listen carefully, please. In the name of Jesus. Can I tell you? I know definite times in my life where certain levels of empowerment came and I knew the change when we started this work you see and I say this with every sense of responsibility and humility as at the time this work started this thing called the power to get wealth was not there there were ideas I was reading materials and learning because I knew that doing ministry with integrity will need resources and I didn't want to go around inconveniencing people every day. God's people will give, but church can't be about money every time. And then you can't be demanding money from people and not release the grace that empowers them. Do you know, let me tell you, when the anointing of God rests upon people who truly love you and they are blessed, you don't even have to ask them for anything. They will be too grateful to live. They will never allow you to beg for tea and bread. Not within there are people who have the hearts to give listen something is about to fall here right now that's why i wanted to listen i remember praying and studying i had learned principles and a day came i had to study the life of abraham david and study these people i said i found a missing link i was already anointed though but just because you have the anointing is not like a general purpose tool uh -uh. The anointing is assignment specific the anointing for prosperity will not bring healing no their allocations are different you can have a first aid box with many drugs they are all called drugs you cannot carry the drug for high blood pressure and swallow it for headache you are causing trouble the design they are all drugs you go to a doctor a professional and he will diagnose you oh you have malaria he will give you the drugs for malaria even if you have malaria and another sickness most times doctors will choose which one to treat first when you are fine they will change the drug and treat the other thing many of you have received many impartations you can know the one that is missing this night don't keep quiet but as far as god spoke to me oh this issue of the power to prosper i've done teachings on prosperity many of you have given but I want you to be angry. Know that God is able to help men. You are Ebenezer. Ah. You are Ebenezer. 
This I know about the helper of man. You are Ebenezer. You are Ebenezer. Listen. You are Ebenezer. The lifter of man. You are Ebenezer. God can help men stop struggling alone. You are Ebenezer. You are I remember praying and crying to God and say, Lord, this work is enormous. The apostolic and the prophetic ministry requires a lot. Let this grace, for God's sake, come upon my life and also come upon this vision. The power to prosper can be on you as a man of God and not be on your ministry. You will prosper while the ministry suffers. The power to prosper can be on the ministry and not on you. The ministry will prosper and leave you to suffer and you will start compromising. Can I tell you this? When that grace came, with all due respect and honor to Jesus, I knew it has come to stay. The Bible says, listen, it says on the day of Pentecost, all of a sudden they saw what looked like cloven tongues and it came and rested or sat. It didn't visit and go back. There are graces that can sit and rest on you. When it stays on you, that is it. I submit to you with all humility every devil and every principality from hell knows that this is a ministry God has helped the ministry is not the building the ministry is you and you must answer that name this night in the name of Jesus Christ it does not matter what spirit of poverty has tied down people in your family. You saw people educated to PhD, but they could not build a single house. That is a wicked spirit. When your level of intellectual investment does not match your financial rewards, something is wrong with that equation. And then number two, we are going to pray that God will move us. Do you know, let me tell you this. Any sincere man of God who loves his people, your greatest joy is not your personal testimony. If someone buys me a car today, or buys me a plane, or builds me a house, thank God for all of that, but that is not really the testimony I'll come and share here. My greatest joy today is to sit down and hear people saying, I came from a family with nothing, serving idols, and now I am on fire for Jesus, loving Jesus, and see what God has done. That's right. Now, that's a testimony. You must be a wicked leader to rejoice over your results as above and against the people God has sent you to. The real joy of a leader is not his personal testimony. But to know that God's people are growing in leaps and bounds, can I tell you, Man of God, this may be a secret for you to learn. When there are genuine testimonies, not stage managed, not exaggerated, genuine workings of God's power in your ministry, it is impossible for that ministry to be empty. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. By faith on heaven's stable land, a higher place than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. The last prayer, and then it will be a very quick one in this place tonight. Father, I vow that as you cause me to be great, it will not distract my work with you. Rather, it will give me an opportunity to serve your purposes. Lift up your voice and pray that sincere prayer. Someone is praying. Pray and let my God surprise you tonight. Pray and let the one who backs us up surprise you tonight. Lord, that my greatness will not be an interruption to my spiritual life. 
it will not be an interruption to my love and my fire for you that is usually the condition if the nations will see him through your greatness if the nations will know him through your greatness then there is no limits to what he can do if that greatness will not bring pride arrogance Hallelujah. I wish I had the liberty to share some of my testimonies. But sometimes we live in a world where people misunderstand everything men of God say. Once you say A, people will say you said A to Z. And it, it turns out to not even edify people again. But I will tell you one or two. Listen carefully. I remember a time when a real estate company came and met me and they said, sir, God gave us an instruction that everywhere on earth we build an estate that will build a house for you. It's our covenant with God. Anywhere on earth across the globe, for as long as this company exists, just know that anywhere you see us building an estate, I don't know how many estates they have built now across the world. If, if you tell me the power to prosper does not work, think again. Hallelujah. I remember a company of wealthy people who came and met me and said, Apostle, God said we should make you a non-executive board member of this company. What for? What do you people do? This and that and that and that. This is the instruction God gave. So what will be my contribution to your company? That spiritual advantage. You represent the ark of God to our business. I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry. You see, this is why sometimes some, it's good to say certain things to just help you know that the man standing before you here is not talking nonsense. Let me tell you, if you think this is just a preacher's talk motivating you, think again. I submit to you with all humility what it takes to run koinon, one koinonia service is what many people may use for conferences believe me when i tell you what it takes to run one koinonia service you've never seen anybody come here to cry to manipulate to say this and that you see when god sends a word to jacob he lights upon israel we are not the inventors of these things. We also received it from the carriers. He said, go to them that sell and buy. Hallelujah. Our world today only wants people to brag. Once you are bragging and making noise, doing a lot of things, aha. Uh -huh. But once you are modest and humble and you live your life with modesty, sometimes we say these things not to attract conflict. That every devil in hell knows that till Jesus comes this ministry will not know poverty just believe me when I tell you no 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 it's not a prayer point I'm telling you what has happened it will only be from glory to glory it's not pride please I'm sorry if it looks like I'm arrogant I'm only describing for you what must start happening in your life from this night Apostle, I'm coming from a background where nobody knows me. Apostle, right now, as I'm standing here, I'm in debt of one billion, five hundred million. Fine rest. You are not the first to get into debt. Please. There are people who have been into debt of billions of dollars and God brought them out. Find rest. Can I tell you, for anyone who is owing here, business is not what you use to solve debt. Prophecy. Go and read your Bible. Every time you are in debt, let me save you trouble. It's not doing another business that will bring you out. It is the power of prophecy. 
alas master for it was borrowed we are here for you come and do what to do we are here for you come and do what to do set our hearts on you so you Hallelujah. At the count of three, we are going to pray. In fact, please, my people, hold your hands. Let me start with you people. This is my dear leaders. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, may this power to prosper come on you. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I release you to strange dimensions of prosperity and increase that people will arise and begin to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus, be shifted to a new level, mysterious dimensions of kingdom wealth, even by the power of God. Now I decree and declare, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Please bring those under the anointing. Some of you come from families where nobody has risen. My God is about to lift you. Are you ready now? Father, may this anointing, this mantle come upon your people. Please bring them out. At the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Bring them out, please. Take that grace now. I lift you by prophecy. From where you are, I shift you to a new season. Please help those, my God. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just help the ushers. We have to hurry up now. Someone's life is changing. I don't care what financial situation. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, such as I have, give I unto you. Step into a new season of prosperity. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, you are changing my life, changing my story. Please bring them out very quickly. Let's hurry up. If you can, as many as you can. If you can't bring them out, that's all right. But we have to hurry up. Someone pray. Don't wait till you fall under the anointing. Open your mouth and begin to pray. A renaissance of financial possibilities. From your lowly estate, my God is lifting you. Hallelujah. Where's Jimmy? Please arrange for him to come and sing that song, The Lifter of Men. Just the chorus. David, damn you help. Whether it's a guitar or whatever. If the keyboardist cannot play, let someone help him very quickly, please. Please bring them out quickly. them out my god something is breaking out here outside inside those following from any nation the power of god to lift and to prosper is resting upon you Hear me hear me some of you by reason of this anointing i'm seeing at least 13 people at least 13 people at least 13 people your destiny is not even in this country 
this is what I'm seeing as God is showing me right now that anointing is going to come upon you don't ask me how it will happen Parante shekete balata. I relocate you now by prophecy go to your place of prophecy go to your place of destiny I pick you up from where you are the land where you must prosper may my God take you there now may my God take you there now is not here i'm saying it again anyone here whichever nation and whichever region where your prosperity is tied i shift you by prophecy go to that region now i release you let the limitations leave you now can i tell you this it is a dangerous thing to be in a place and there are people who are watching me you are outside this nation but your destiny is in this nation you are roaming around across the globe and finding out that even when you go to a place of plenty there is no peace because you must be in your assigned place i relocate you back to your place of assignment Can I tell you this? Hear me. Hear me. All through my time of ministry at been in Zaria. I'd become so emotionally connected there. But I knew when the season was done for my assignment there. It was a very difficult thing. But I knew that if I do not move where God is moving as far as my assignment is concerned. Some of you, this is the simple key you came to receive. You can be roaming about. There are some of you who want to travel abroad. It's not in the blueprint of your destiny. You may visit and come back. But just because you hear that people are roaming around, there are still people suffering in every nation. Don't just emotionally enter the plane and go and die. My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men lifter of men I will hold on now hear me I want to pray for those who are in any kind of financial trouble What's the power of prophecy bring you out of any financial situation? Hear me? There are people, some of you are owing. Some of you made careless business decisions. And as it is right now, it is only the God of heaven who can lift you. I've prayed for your spiritual life and I'll pray again. But this night, we want to deal with these things. Some of you are under corporate debt. You may not be the individual in trouble. But you are under corporate debt. Your organization is owing all kinds to the millions and billions. God can help men. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. By this anointing. Anyone here who is in any kind of debt or financial situation. Personally, corporately ministries that are owing and are in trouble businesses that are owing and are in trouble individuals that are owing and are in trouble in the name of jesus christ come out of that debt now come out of that debt now by the ministry of destiny help us come out of that debt now hallelujah there are spirits that have moved from family to family 
ensuring everybody remains poor a family of everyone educated nobody working everyone educated nobody the highest salary may be twenty thousand. yes we are grateful but that cannot be enough now i want to pray fire will come upon you god is going to set you free because there are many hear me your salvation tonight is not just for you alone it's for your family members there are many of you i decree and declare any family here under a spiritual yoke maybe something happened in time past and a cause or a pronouncement was made over your family that keeps recycling poverty and financial struggles right now at the count of three please bring them under the anointing as you shout jesus that altar will catch fire now please bring them out are you ready one two three shout jesus i break financial yokes please bring them out i break financial yokes every spirit recycling patterns of poverty every spirit whether you are an usher or not please help us under the anointing every spirit outside inside following online responsible for lack and poverty and want as the church of the lord jesus christ and by the blood of the eternal covenant we set you free tonight 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 open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray i release myself from every embargo someone pray i decree and declare a prophetic release every embargo every yoke it tied down my father it tied down my grandfather it tied down wicked people i am a righteous man in christ and i decree and declare that by the blood of the eternal covenant i appropriate my healing and my deliverance One more minute, you are praying. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free. Financial embargo, I cost you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look up. By the privilege of God's grace, I've had the honor of meeting and learning from extremely wealthy people. Extremely wealthy people. I am not in ignorance. I submit to you by the privilege of God's grace as to the financial principles and the systems that make for the blessing. This prayer and this miracle service is by no means excusing your your fortitude to comply with financial principles that bless you but let me tell you something and let me teach you something there are only two ways financial resources will enter your life only two ways number one value that is exchanged number two favor that is it there is no other way financial resources will enter your pocket your value packaged and turned into products and services garnished with excellence and served to a a targeted consumer base that's what you call business that is one dimension but then the other is called favor i want to show you how god restored job job 42 verse 10. my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men the lifter of men I will hold on through the storm. This is for someone. I will hold on through the rain. My life will soon reveal. You are the lifter of men. Lifter of. Sing it one more time as a prophecy. That I will hold on to the storm. Ah. I will hold. My life will soon reveal You 
are the lifter of man, the lifter of man. Can I tell you this? There is no one here under the sound of my voice, or will there ever be, whose situation is worse than that of Job. Let me show you what God can do. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had. Thank God for that, but we want to know how it happened. Are you ready? Next verse. Verse 11. <laughs> read with me if you're a Christian. One, two, read. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you seeing how God restored him? Number one, then came to him all his brethren. Every next level and finances you are trusting God for is in the hands of men. Until the men come, you cannot get what is in their hands. It says, then there came unto him. Where were they when he was crying? The Bible says God turned. So how does God turn? He places something upon your life that will start compelling people to start coming. There came unto him his brethren and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before. They were the ones that made him prosper before. That means how did poverty come to his life? Something was taken away from him and everybody left physically. How did God restore it? Something came. I'm, I'm showing you because something is about to come on you now. Please read it. Are you ready? One, two, read. Then came there unto him all his brethren, uh -huh, and all his sisters, and they that had been of his acquaintance before, and did eat bread with him in his house, and they bemoaned him, and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Now here's the secret, read. And every man, how many men? There is something that comes on you that makes every man bless you not just those who do business with you every man every man read on please one to go every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold can i tell you this some of you have gone through serious financial hardship god organized this miracle service to bring financial healing to bring financial deliverance and I'm showing you how it happened because we are going to pray now. I've taught you the ministry of destiny helpers. These are men anointed, commissioned by God to pay attention to your destiny. Not everyone is a destroyer. There are people who can enter your life like they entered the life of that my gentleman and turn his life around. Who would have told him that a year before or two years before there were people in that football field before he came? It is what is on you that controls what is around you. Every man gave him a piece of money. Every man gave him a piece of money. And everyone an earring of gold. Father, who have you anointed in this season to hold my hands and move me to the next financial level? I declare, place the grace upon my life that will bring them to my destiny. Open your mouth and pray. Place that grace. This is a miracle service. Make sure you are praying. Place that grace upon my life, oh God, that will compel the helpers of my destiny to attend to me. Place that grace upon my life. Forget about where you have been. Pray. pray I will hold on through the storm 
I will hold on to your word My story is about to change You are the lifter of men The lifter of men Lord, I will hold on to the storm I will hold on to your word My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men Hear me, believers, in the name of Jesus. Please listen to me. I submit to you by God that there are more than enough people in any city to be used by God to lift you. Nobody will come and lift you on their own. I've told you this. There is the power that rests upon your head. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter, but who likes you matters. Please place your hand on your head. Just place your hand on your head. Father, this is a miracle service where you are sorting people financially once and for all. My God and my King, upon every head, right here, inside, all the overflows outside i am praying lord the grace that must rest upon them that will compel the helpers of destiny to gravitate towards them in the name of jesus may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please put down your hands. Who is Christy? I'm hearing the name Christy. My assignment tonight is to deal with the issues. Christy. Who is that? Where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. I presume there may be many Christies. But your life is about to change. And in case I'm prophesying to people, you open your heart and receive. What God says to one, he says to all. Are we together? I don't mean to embarrass you, but please hear me. There's a prophetic word. I won't ask the person to come out for social reasons. There is a lady here. A man kept you in a house. Hold on now. Let me finish the prophecy. You don't know what I'm about to say. Just hold on. Let's be patient and let prophecy finish before so that you don't answer yes to something that a man kept you in a house. Listen to me. That man is married with his wife, but he kept you in a house somewhere. You are in, in a relationship with the man and he kept you in a house somewhere. I want you to know that that man is going to destroy you. He has lied to you and made you believe that if he does not help you, where will you get help? I'm advising you in this miracle service in the name of Jesus and with every sense of responsibility. I know it is not easy. It's easy to tell people you are working in this and that. You must be ready to help people when you want them to make that decision. But let me tell you, whoever that person is, I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. I want you to pack out of that place because with what I'm seeing, that man did not just keep you there. There is something occultic that he's doing there. You hear what I'm saying? I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of God. Back out of there, he may be giving you 10 naira, but he's taking the glory of what 2 million from you. And we have to be careful as believers. Sometimes, you know why it is important to empower believers like this? Because if we don't empower believers, when people are desperate, they will do anything for money. They will come to church and remove the 10% and drop it. But they know where they got it from. So it's not enough to just criticize people and say you are this, you are following men, you are following women, you are following whatever. No, 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 no. We have to empower people first. Then we tell them this is how it is done in the kingdom. There are many parents today who are enjoying a lot of financial blessings from their children and dancing and they do not know the dirty and demonic things their children are doing to bring money. 
and it's easy to insult them like we always like doing in church when we hear of people's situations who are not rational to sit down and think and approach it from a heart of love God brought you people out here by his spirit I want to pray for you madam your suffering has come to an end this night please leave her careful careful so you don't injure her I know what I just saw I want to pray for her Kai. oh dear oh dear oh dear you see let me tell you something my dear people for as long as God brought you here this night I assure you by God that the power that will stop you from receiving your testimony is not in existence I'm looking at this woman in a vision and I'm seeing a woman suffering bad luck anybody that says he will bless this woman something must happen to them and they will neglect them if there is anybody like that people keep making promises tomorrow they will say next week they will say whatever is stopping them from reaching out to you I cause it to his root in the name of Jesus I cause it to his root in the name of Jesus hallelujah please don't 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 I, I don't want you to feel offended the, may God bless you madam I want to pray for you I'm seeing a woman you are a widow oh dear this woman has suffered oh this woman you are a widow and if I don't pray for you it's nothing at all is coming from anyone it's as if you don't have children it's as if nothing is happening you are you are quite an aged woman i don't know who that person is the lord is asking me to call that person and let me pray for that person you are a woman an elderly woman you are a widow but honestly as it is sincerely that you love god sincerely but absolutely nothing is happening this woman i'm seeing i know you came out but i'm seeing this woman at the overflow outside the overflow outside the overflow outside i'm not just praying for every widow of course i will pray for you if you come out but the particular person i want to pray for you are outside father you are the god that can open every door there is no mystery as to how finances come it is not magic it will always happen through men the bible says good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give shall men give the lord called that name christy and i want to pray for you for some of you you are standing as altars over your family because god wants to wipe the tears of your family in the name of jesus christ the power of god will come on you right now and believe me the only thing that will bring you upstage here after this prayer is your testimony therefore i stretch my hands right now every embargo up over your finances an anointing is coming on you right now release them now in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus, name of jesus. Name of jesus. i open this door in the spirit and i declare walk into your high places in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family here. You are owing medical bills. You are owing, as I'm speaking now, you are owing medical bills even to the millions. You are owing medical bills. I don't know who that person is, whether you are watching online or you are here. It's like there's somebody. Let me tell you this. I'm going to pray for the sick shortly. Do you know that many manifestations of sickness is actually an attack on your finances? It's not about the sickness because there is a relationship between your health and your wealth the sicker you are the more your finances will tell to so when satan wants to attack your finances one of the ways he does is to plant a mysterious sickness it will not go up it will not go down it will remain there and keep eating finances if there is anything i know that can destroy finances overnight is held no matter how wealthy you think you are pray that you are not plagued 
or somebody around you plagued there are people who spend as much as a million naira every week to be alive if you have saved even if it's hundred million in how long we would have depleted everything people have had to sell their houses because of finances people have had to sell everything they spent their life building hear me God is able to lift you from that yoke I will be praying for we are not going to take testimonies that our time is gone we may not take testimonies of people to pray tonight I want to deal because we've not even gotten to greatness I must spend the next 15 minutes and flog this thing out it must step over your life honor and greatness we are dealing with finances say to those that are fearful hearted do not be afraid it's a word of comfort to somebody the lord your god is strong and in his mighty hands when you call on his name he will come and save you He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weak ones, Your God will surely come. He will come and save you. My God will come and save you. He will come and save you. For those of you who are here, the, 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 the wither that came. Now, let me tell you this. Do you know, any day you see any widow or someone who is genuinely bereaved and incapacitated, even if it is 10 naira you can give them, it is a blessing unto God. You see that? Remember the widow at Nain? She had lost all the men in her life. Her husband, a symbol of her strength and defense, had gone. And now her child, who represented her future, was also gone. When Jesus saw her condition, he said, no, we can't leave you this way. And he brought up the child. Nobody prays to lose anyone. But if and when it happens, it is important to stand with them and stand by them to pray. God is able to help. We can't promise you that every day everybody will be giving you money. But we can promise you that something can be placed upon your life that will insist and ensure that you are not left without help. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, look at me. You are a widow. You are standing for who? Your mom. Where is she? Don't cry. Jesus is able to help you. You see, let me tell you this. You can't comfort people who mourn when your hand is empty. I hope you know that. Because after you pray for them and do whatever you do, some of them will stand and they're expecting that even if it's 10 naira, you put something in their pocket. And it's easy for us to make a lot of noise in church and talk and say this and that and that. God will do it. You must reject poverty in your life. There's no reason why you should remain the way you are, not after this miracle service. Father, I pray for these ones. You are the only one who knows how it feels, oh God. But in the name of Jesus, by your spirit, you call them out to change their lives. And I pray right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. turn their lives around release that grace upon them your physical husbands may have gone but may God become that husband for you and ensure that your needs are supplied to the latter in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that the hand of God rests upon your life 
I don't know, but I just feel in my heart to say this. And I say it respectfully. Anyone here who is a widow or who has lost a loved one, and there are people who are troubling you, in the name of Jesus Christ, we agree right now. May the troublers of your destiny go now! Now! You see, anybody who troubles a woman who does not have strength on her own, under normal circumstances must be a wicked person don't cry in the name of jesus i'm praying again anyone who is troubling you maybe something you labored with your husband to get and now just because he's gone people are bullying you and bringing all kinds of trouble i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic I decree and declare, may your troublers depart from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I use this once in front to pray for every other person. And I decree in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. That anyone who is troubling any widow here, I will not let her have peace except otherwise but i pray that if the fault is not from them may god show them mercy immediately in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i pray that every man destined and appointed by god to hold your hands no matter who and what you have lost especially your husbands i pray for you may god raise genuine people with no strings attached who will hold your hands and see that you don't cry again in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let's celebrate them as they go god bless you you will return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus are you ready for the next prayer to be great means to live where you are and go to the next level of your life. To be great means to rise to a point where you can also be a blessing. You can't always be the one looking up. You need to rise to a point where you can look down and reach to others. Father, whatever it takes for my greatness, release it upon me. Someone lift your voice and pray. Don't be tired. Tonight is a good bargain. Tonight is a good bargain by the Spirit. Go ahead and pray. Lord, whatever it takes, finance, influence, relationships, results, opportunities, release it upon my life. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look up. God is able to make people great from where they are to the next level. Genesis. 26 13 give us new king james version please if you can nkjv read with me ready one to read and the man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous verse 14 hmm. For he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds and a great number of servants. So the Philistines envied him. Next verse, 15. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back to King James now. I want to show you something because there is a name God is about to call someone. For all the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of Abraham, his father. So the man had struggles. The Bible takes out time to tell you.
he did not just become very great like that there were struggles they dug a well the philistines had stopped them and filled it with the earth 16. and abimelech said unto isaac he said go from us for thou art much mightier than we when you read the verses after for the sake of time it will tell you that he dug a well and they covered it he named it he dug a well they covered it and the third one they left him and he called it Rehoboth he says for God has given me my own space my own space my own space I want to pray for you the grace for greatness is a real grace read your Bible look at Abraham read your Bible look at Sarah read your Bible look at Esther read your Bible Joshua Gideon ordinary people you can start from where you are but you should not remain there you must rise for the Bible declares that the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day what is greatness to be elevated to a position in life and destiny where you enjoy the blessings of productivity the blessings of influence and now you can reach down to people and also be a blessing to them in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed if that happens to you that is the epitome of greatness God wants to set us free from this life of always hoping that someone will rise and help you it is in your destiny to rise too I want to speak over your life do you believe in the power of prophecy Bazanji Soroba Rete Makona Bazanji Kunyaba Rete Makona Rete Makona Bazanji Soroba Bazanji Kunyaba When God makes you very great, listen to me. There are many quarrels and there are many issues that are unnecessary. Can I tell you? When Joseph became great, it was easy to forgive his brothers. There are many family problems, there are many extended age-long problems that become unnecessary when you become great if they had come to meet a struggling jacob uh, uh, joseph in egypt he would tell them you are wicked and evil people can i tell you many hurt and pain you are carrying in your heart is because you have not been consoled by greatness there is a way god lifts you it becomes unnecessary to discuss the past again did you hear what i said one of the ways god heals you from the past is to make you higher than that realm by far so that the issue of money of 1995, the issue of insulting you of two thousand, it, it just becomes great people have little worries because God has so consoled them. In the name of Jesus, the anointing that it takes to rise from where you are right now to the highest level of your call of your destiny of your business of your ministry by the power that raised christ from the dead please hear me i speak it to you in the name of jesus christ may that mantle like the dew of Hammon, let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now the lifting power of god let it rest upon you now can I tell you this? You will be 10 times greater than your contemporaries. I say it again. You will be 10 times greater than your contemporaries. Even in all age, I prophesy to you, you will be 10 times greater than your contemporaries. Hear me? Anyone here overdue for promotion? 
and either by tribal sentiments or religion you have not been lifted i stand by the god of heaven and i decree between now and the next three months rise to the position that is due you now hear me one of the reasons why people do not rise to that position of greatness is because the people who are sitting there have not stood up can you hear me for as long as Vashti is still sitting Esther cannot be enthroned for as long the Bible never tells us whoever was sitting on Joseph's position either a space is created or the wrong people there must vacate it for you in any case and by all means I prophesy to you that anyone sitting on your seat of glory right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead I overturn 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 in business I overturn in ministry I overturn I overturn I overturn I overturn I overturn I overturn until you sit there in the name of Jesus Christ And anywhere you must get to that they say there is no space by prophecy I shift the space left and right and create a place for you I say it again I shift the space left and right politicians business people professionals we create a space of relevance for you I will hold on through the storms and I will hold on to your word my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of man don't be tired every word I speak is placing something on your head night could not King Ahasuerus sleep hear me there are many people whose lives you have helped but there is a spirit that came upon them to give what is supposed to be to you to another person and you keep wondering how do I keep helping people some of you are not lazy you have helped many people in this nation in this city can I tell you this please look up one day i was reading the story of naman and the bible tells us that a little slave girl who served his wife came and talked she spoke to him it was based on her recommendation and persuasion that the man went down to write a letter to the king and finally meet elisha hold on the bible says when he found out he had been healed he carried gifts is that true he carried gifts because you didn't come to see a prophet empty-handed. He carried gifts and he took to Elisha. Elisha rejected the gift and just healed him. And Gehazi, unfortunately, out of a life of compromise and dishonesty, got into trouble. The Bible never shows us the gift he took to the slave girl. I see the gift you took to the prophet who helped you. But where is the gift of the slave girl? whose persuasion was the one why you were healed there are many 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 people here you are the one that even brought so many people to koinonia here some of them have testified but where is yours that book of remembrance must be opened now hear me please receive this very prayer the bible says mordecai heard a few people who were conspiring because his assignment was to be a watcher at the gate and he found out that there were people who were plotting to kill the king to kill a king that controls 127 provinces you must be wicked people and he revealed that plot and the people were hung in the gallows and it was documented but he was not rewarded 
and the bible says when his season had come that night just like this night let me say it again that night just like this night the king could not sleep and the king said bring me the chronicles and they opened it where the archives of people who did good you know my bible says withhold not good from them that it is due when it is within your power do not tell them go and come tomorrow when you can do it now it was within the power of the king to honor Mordecai but there had to be a spirit sponsored by the man Haman but that night when he opened the chronicles he said read it for me and he found there the good works of Mordecai let me speak to someone even if it was 10 years ago it was written did you hear what I said even if it was 10 years ago you helped for every time you help someone know Jesus for every time you help someone find salvation you help someone maybe get a job it was written and under a certain condition the book can be opened and he said what has been done to this man they said nothing he said who is in the chamber her man was there and they called him he said Haman what shall I do to a man whom my heart delights to honor and foolish Haman thought it was him so he decided to describe an elaborate system of honor that the king would take his robe and put it on such a man and he will ride upon the king's horse all through the cities and somebody will be escorting him and shouting bow the knee he said this is what should be done to the man that the king has honored he said quickly make sure none of these words fail go and do the same to Mordecai I want to declare to somebody while you are in church here may God open the book and cause people to start discussing how to lift you let me say it again while you are in the house of God here may somebody somewhere in Abuja in Lagos in London in US in the name of Jesus Christ may they wake up from sleep God will wake them and seize their sleep and open up the file of your kindness and remind them and insist that you are blessed I prophesy this in the name of Jesus hallelujah something very interesting happened not too long ago a man of God called me and he said apostle you came over to our church to preach this was sometime last year and he said um, just to let you know that since that time we have been putting some seeds together months after you had come and gone there were people who said the Lord instructed them that they sow into your life and we had been collating those seeds and he said man of God we're joking with him he said I'm surprised can you imagine this that people will keep coming with seeds and I told him I was going to tell him okay God bless you just take the seed he said no whatever grace that made these people months after you had left our church I am the pastor in this church oh you see a similar thing had happened to another pastor a great friend of mine that I went to preach for somebody now called him and said please do you have apostles account number the person said what for he said I want to bless him and the only person I can remember is you and he called me and we're joking he said how can a man call me I'm a man of God too and be asking me of another man's account number and I sent it to him and he made a transfer as if I'm not there and we were just joking and laughing very good man but I thought about it it's terrible for blessings to pass through you to others and yet nothing stops for you every time people want to bless others you are the middle man you are the one who connects people who will now connect to your own in the name of Jesus yours will not pass you by in the name of Jesus yours will not pass you by your job will not pass you by your increase will not pass you by in the name of Jesus hear me let me bring a word of comfort for some of you can I tell you the kindness you have been showing people has been building a house that you don't know of so that when it is time they will just bring you the key to a house that is already built i'm saying this like a joke but you'll be surprised and you will ask yourself when did i build this and god will say for every kindness 
for every act of love for every prayer for every intercession you were adding one block upon another let me prophesy to you again there are things that because you have made happen for others you will not struggle over to happen in your life in the name of jesus christ now place your hand if you are trusting god for healing i'll just speak over your life and then if you are yet to submit the prayer request let's do it fast those who are yet to submit the prayer request please ushers inside outside station it very quickly let's let's redeem the time i'm going to speak over your life tonight's service is dedicated to our finances and increase as god revealed but i'm still going to minister i know that there are people who came with all kinds of sicknesses and diseases the bible says and as he taught the power of god was present to heal place your hand on your chest or wherever you are trusting god for and i'm going to pray for you i will praise the lamb of god who sits upon the throne i will worship him and give a praise to him alone he who was and is and is to come, I will sing before his throne forever. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, every spirit of infirmity, I command by the power that raised Christ from the dead, it leaves your body now. Yeah. By the blood that was shed on Calvary's tree, and by the eternal sacrifice of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now, let the power of resurrection touch your body. The power of God is touching you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Back pain, be healed in Jesus' name. Headaches, be healed in Jesus' name. Please help them. Blindness, be healed in Jesus' name growth in any part of your body dissolve now in jesus name ear conditions be healed in jesus name cardiovascular conditions be healed in jesus name arthritis of all sorts be healed in jesus name peptic ulcer be healed in jesus name Heart conditions, be healed in Jesus' name. HIV, be healed in Jesus' name. Cancers, be healed in Jesus' name. Diabetes, be healed in Jesus' name. Respiratory conditions, be healed in the name of Jesus. Uni urinary conditions, be healed in Jesus name bone conditions be healed in Jesus name there's someone I'm seeing in a vision um, there's this thing the medical people call cholesterol you have an extremely high level it's not about weight for some reason and if i don't pray for you now with what i'm seeing it may kill you in the name of jesus you need to seek medical attention whoever that person is please seek medical attention but i'm still going to pray for you in the name of jesus by the mercies of god you will not die you will not die supernaturally may the lord help you high bp goes down now in the name of jesus swellings unusual swellings across your body from your head to your toe i declare be healed now there's someone always dreaming of death even if it's just a little nap you take you must have this dream of death in the name of jesus i curse that spirit now now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus the son of the living god be healed now tonight we may not have the time to come and take testimonies because of what we took our time to deal with but please whether right now or after the service make sure you check yourself 
and some of you may need to visit the doctors you may need to visit our medical stand when you find out that you have been healed do well to register your testimony through our media department or you can even go to the PR stand afterwards and we'll give you an opportunity to share it in any of the services now stretch your hands please it's time to pray the general prayer over the request please if there are more requests let's do it very quickly stretch your hands remember this is I, I love to pray on our request because it is the most accurate representation of your desires the Bible says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto God if someone stretching his hand here I will kneel you can do the standing let me kneel and pray over this in one minute I'd like you to stretch your hands and begin to declare father you have visited me and the testimony will return back to me go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus Christ father in the name of Jesus Christ we decree and declare somebody is praying Embra basa zikete prashke dilas manda brando so so preketishkalia. Father, in the name of Jesus, visit your people. May they know that you are the God of the universe. Grant results, grant results, oh God, that by miracle service may they will only return with testimonies. Grant results, strange results, even by the Spirit of God. Is someone praying? We decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. We decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. We decree and declare strange visitations, supernatural encounters, turnarounds by the Spirit. for me to do I am that I am that's what God is asking someone tonight is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am is there anything too hard for me to do Father, I bow my knees to you because you hear me when I pray and I thank you because the Bible declares that this is the confidence that we have in you that when we ask anything in accordance to your will you hear us therefore Lord I bow my knees over these requests kneeling on these requests requests that represent pain expectations disappointments prayers secret tears many tears repeated tears for some lord i cry unto you the god of heaven 
may your power rest upon this request and lord i pray that every single request here and those who are connecting online across the globe some hearts bleeding some hearts crying some hearts in desperate expectation for some of you your prayer requests here have time timing to it for some of you if the answers don't come by tomorrow it can affect you i pray and i call upon my god this night may he visit you From America to Europe to Asia to Africa, Nigeria here, Abuja, Lagos, Jos, Port Harcourt, Enugu, the Northeast, all the six geopolitical zones, and even here in FCT. In the name of Jesus, may the angels of the Lord be dispatched to all these regions. Taking, taking fearful answers to you. Every human agent who must partner with God, for these requests to be granted answers, we compel their ministry now. And every force of darkness fighting the answers here, in the name of Jesus, we terminate their ministry. Therefore, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare supernatural answers to these prayers. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name 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 I pray. For some of you, since you were part of this ministry, you have never stood here to testify. I decree and declare next week the stage is open for you. I say it again next week the stage is open for you. Some of you may say, Apostle, I'm a shy person. It depends on what happened to you. May God give you the testimony that you will be too grateful to sit back there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you will not just come here and stand alone. It's the whole family that will come and stand. Because everybody would have received the testimony. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Apostle, I need Jesus. I need him quick I need him now there are people who are saying I came here I was introduced by a friend to come here to koinonia and now I am here I have seen the power of God but I confess that I do not want to go back without Jesus let's minimize movement and just allow a minute or two so that we honor the altar call there are others who are saying apostle I remember giving my heart to the Lord but as it is honestly my life has gone haywire i need restoration to my christian life now for those who are in this auditorium across the balcony and those outside i'm going to make this call right now very quickly we have a minute for you wherever you are don't be ashamed don't be afraid i want you to leave your seat and come and stand here as i count five you want me to pray with you you want to make it right with jesus that at the end of your days it will not just be that you came and you prospered and you received i will count one to five there has to be somebody coming to Jesus and you want to rededicate your life join them I'll begin my counting now and all the other all other overflows please very quickly you come and stand in front of your projector uh, screens or your LEDs and then um, you receive this prayer are you ready one let's celebrate them as they come two somebody is coming to Jesus the God of all flesh is giving you a new beginning. Don't be ashamed. Come to Jesus. He will give you a new beginning. Are you celebrating them? Please ce celebrate them as they come. Three. Apostle, I came here. I can't say I'm a sinner, but I cannot honestly say I'm saved. Join them. You can join them and be sure. Run like there's fire on the mountain. Join them and be sure of your salvation right now. There is such a thing as the assurance of salvation. You can know that you know that you know that you are saved. And there's still people coming. Win that war tonight. Run to Jesus. He'll give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Thank you for the courage to come. Koinonia, one more time, let's celebrate them. Hallelujah.
Thank you very much for the courage to step out. Every time we come to Jesus, we are assured of one thing that he will in no wise cast us away. Lift your right hand high above your head and please say this after me. Let it be loud and clear from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have seen your power. I have heard your word. I know you desire to lift me. So I come to you just as I am, unable to help myself. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I confess that you are my savior. I confess that you are my Lord. I confess that you are my king. I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight i go from glory to glory and grace to grace i'm a child of god amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these ones you have brought to yourself the bible declares that as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away i declare a supernatural miracle upon every one of you right now in the name of Jesus, even as you have confessed, you are recipients of eternal life. You go from glory to glory, from grace to grace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for making this bold decision. May I request that you move to my right, the counselors waving their hands to you. Let's celebrate them as they, come, as they go. God bless you. Thank you very much. Please, all of you, let's celebrate them as they go. They'll have a word with you and then you'll be back to your seat. God bless you. Please. Let's celebrate them very quickly. Hallelujah. Now, let me say this before we wrap up. I want to encourage everyone, even though I know that we've exhausted this facility inside, outside, everywhere. There are still so many people who need to encounter Jesus Christ, encounter his power, and encounter the, the methodical mentorship that the communication of doctrine brings there are people who need to grow there are people who need to meet jesus there are people who need empowerment let me encourage you please make it a point of duty everyone who is part of this ministry globally is an evangelist and you owe a responsibility whether online or offline don't say we have exhausted this facility there are even if there are 15 20 000 people it is still not enough relative to the souls it's not just about the size of people that show that a man is a great man for as long as there is one soul out there who is yet to be saved for as long as there is one soul out there whose life is confused not knowing the ways of the kingdom we owe it to do the work of an evangelist make it a point of duty that you don't come to church alone come with your family members come with your friends come with those you do not know let them know that jesus saves let them know that jesus heals let them know that there is a home for them where their spiritual understanding can be upgraded where they can receive the accurate communication of doctrine do not neglect the gathering of the saints, but then don't come alone. Let others too come. He said, for this promise is unto you and to your children, as many as are far off. Hallelujah. So let it be part of our kingdom responsibility as responsible people in this ministry to make sure that the work of evangelism in gathering and giving people an opportunity to be mentored, to grow, it is a corporate responsibility of everyone. The Lord will grant us grace in jesus name i pray let's rise up as we close after the grace i'd like you to greet someone by your left and right on your way out i decree and declare that your week beginning is blessed this grace you have received will start speaking immediately and you will only return with your testimonies in the name of jesus the lord preserve you preserve you spirit soul and body in the name of jesus christ let it be a profitable week for you in jesus name i pray the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forever amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever 
Amen. God bless you and see you on Sunday. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.